But for my muffin. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Rob Chappers. And I'm the captain. We're in sunny, beautiful Guildfordshire, historic Guildford, home of Anderson's.co.uk. Currently. Currently. Duesenberg. Duesenberg. Doozies, Duesenbergs, however you want to pronounce it. These are fine guitars from the fatherland um, where we've just been. Um, we have. We spent a nice time there. We did. We were in Franconia, though. We were. Well, that is in Germany. It's just. Uh, it's Franconia, though. But uh, anyway. Bavaria. We, uh, a few months ago, uh, started stocking Duesenberg guitars, and Rob and I have done some videos on the Star Players and Fullertons, and uh, our friends uh, Peter and Mick have done videos on Caribous and Double Cats and stuff, but a couple of new guitars turned up this week with Andertons. <laughs> two new signature guitars from Duesenbergs of two of the biggest living legends mm. of the guitar world on the planet. And I'm particularly excited and thrilled because one of my heroes, Joe Walsh, brought this out. Yes, he did. Yes. Now, I am a Joe Walsh fan. I grew up on Eagles and spent years of my childhood destroying my fingertips, trying to play anything like as good as he could. And then, a bit later on, I got really into his solo stuff, particularly the song Analog Man, which I thought was brilliant. Very recent stuff. Yes. Though, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, a new guitar from Duesenberg, a new shape, uh, but still kind of using lots of Duesenberg-y type flavours, like the semi-solid uh, body, or semi-hollow, whichever way you want to say it. Um, lots of the Duesenberg kind of hardware, beautiful kind of, I didn't really know that, this is why I love Duesenberg, because they kind of, they've taken a whole load of kind of classic things and melted them into a guitar that so many other manufacturers have tried to do and it just comes out looking wrong. Yeah. But with Duesenbergs it just comes out looking right. They've got some beautiful little interesting touches for a signature guitar that Lee told me about that I'm now going to tell you as if I just knew them anyway. For example, this is one of Joe Walsh's tattoos and it's a cool little uh, Tibetan, looks like a, a part of a mandala, if you can see that. And also, on the fretboard, this is Joe Walsh's name said in... Gent, basically. Gent, it's yeah. It's set in Gent. Uh, set in <laughs> Morse code. code. Um, yeah. Which is really cool. And do you know what? Previously when I played Duesenbergs, for me it was uh, Dotsenberg, not Duesenberg. <laughs> and I, I just didn't gel with the particular guitar I had. A lot of option paralysis from loads of different controls. But this... Even though it's like black and gold and got a sparkly scratch plate, there's something about it that I really like. And it's probably that Joe Walsh came up with this guitar. It's interesting because I, when there's a lot of use of sort of gold and chrome, uh, which often doesn't work on guitars, but apparently this is, this is very much, this is a Joe Walsh thing. He wanted, you know, he likes that kind of vibe. So you've got the sort of gold pickups around, or the covers rather, but the chrome uh, bridge. And if you look at the trim system, it's a mix of chrome and gold. Yeah, it's a hybrid. Um, like but the, uh, this comes in two colors, this model. Uh, so the black is, is um, obviously the one that Rob's holding, but there's a beautiful burst as well, which if you go to the description under the video, I'll put a link so you can see some photographs, but there's a beautiful sort of cherry burst. Uh, and pickups wise, um, classic real combination really of a, of, a, of a toaster style, kind of gnarly humbucker. Um, Duesenberg, if you don't already know, make all their own parts. So, you know, the, the, the uh, pickups and the tremolo systems and everything like that. So it's a Duesenberg humbucker and then a split single coil. So a noiseless single coil uh, at the neck there. Interesting sounds great. as well. Yeah. Uh, so let's, let's go well, some tones. It sounds like... <laughs>
body to this tone. I mean, I don't know what you'll be able to hear on, on the video, but we're hearing all the sort of stands and everything in the room kind of vibrating just because, and we've got the, you know, it's, it's we're using the driven channel, but on its minimum, minimum drive setting. And it's just so fat and yeah, full, this, this It's a beautiful center. sounding guitar, man. I'm like it I really said, is. not normally my kind of thing, but I really like this guitar. It's so, so easy to play. To be really honest with you, we shot this entire video to find out that Rabia's laptop had crashed. My computer's crashed. Oh! And we've gutted. Oh! Because what I did was I shredded on it just to show that it was incredibly playful. This guitar I know, just by feeling it, will absolutely shred. <laughs> I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> actually clean now and um, just show you what it sounds like. You can't promise it and then take it away. Mm. Oh, maybe I'll shred after. It's just right. such a playable guitar. Yeah. The fr everything on it just goes, you know, it's a player's dream. Uh, I love that reassuring click. It's proper of, German yeah. clunk, isn't I'm it? I'm down, I'm up. Yeah. Yes, I'm. <laughs> that's fine. That's dry. So, <laughs> difficult to play with a, a security tag on the back. Sorry, we're it's about freedom, freedom, freedom man. It's nice to hear a semi-solid guitar with a single coil at the neck because it's got yeah. that kind of mega bright jangle that you don't get with a humbucker, but with sort of some extra balls, you know, just from from the sort of the, the hollowness. Not that Lee needs extra balls, obviously. Well, not allegedly. <laughs> Great guitar. I mean, for those of you, you know, wanting to know detailed spec, again, I'll put a link in the description below where you can go and read it all. But it's a, um, it's a, I think it's a 25 and a half inch scale length guitar. It's certainly uh, tighter to play than a, uh, than a Gibson would be. Um, rosewood board. Uh, I think it's a, it's, it, I think it's an all maple body, this one. Uh, obviously, you know, it's a, it's a semi acoustic, so not sort of solids. Um, but it it's, does it's this as well. It's a great sound. <laughs> It's 24, isn't it? It must be 24. Must be. Is it 25? I don't know. Isn't that the double octave here with the. 22. Oh, 22. But it feels Sorry. like 25. So, but yeah, it's, you can it's play weird, with it. I thought with the four dots that marked the set, the second octave, but it's, yeah. it's just the Morse code putting I mean, me off there. Yeah. I mean, in fairness, the, the sort of the square, clunky. But not designed bit, to be played up this Not really, but you absolutely can. <laughs> But it does some it all. Of, some of the best, certainly the best sounds on this guitar, and some of the best sounds I've heard out of this amplifier were just the like the, the rhythm, the uh, you know the beat, the A's yeah, and the yeah. G's and everything. It just sounded great. So, from one uh, extreme American legend to another, um, just, that's assuming, of course, they are both American. Apologies if they aren't, but I think they are. Uh, Mike Campbell. Uh, he and Tom Petty have written some of the. Uh, most recognised and mega selling tunes of uh, the last millennium. I like um, you've got like a colour coded uh, curtain behind you as well. Yeah, you see, as I've done this all just to sort of uh, dial in. To... So this is um, this is kind of like Mike's take on the uh, Fullerton. So the Fullerton is a completely set, uh, completely hollow, sorry, guitar, uh, like a kind of casino kind of vibe um, or a three three zero kind of vibe. Two P90s, these are again Duesenberg's own P90s. Uh, trapeze tailpiece, rosewood board, 
locking machine heads, which actually I should have said, so has uh, the Joe Walsh guitar. We'll do some close-ups of these as well. Um, now this is called the Mike Campbell 2, because the Mike Campbell 1 uh, is a star player style. So the, the sort of the slightly smaller body with the single cutaway, Bigsby. Actually, I shouldn't say Bigsby. It's, it's Duesenberg's version of the Bigsby. Um, and volume and tone selector and I'll come to this switch in a minute but so this is great I'm playing through the, the white amp behind me here so I love that sound Just, just fabulous. That's every, that's just the, the, the neck pickup. I feel like, do you know what? I feel like I want to play chords on these more than I feel like I want to play. Got this big big open kind of tone that sort of lends itself to It's quite a songwritery it's, guitar. It's great. It's got all the simple chords, you know, just a simple G and a simple D. All sounds good. Intonation's great on this. Out of interest, how loud is it if you turn the volume off? Just acoustic? Oh, it'll be plenty loud for because it's completely. Yeah, that's so. And then the fun starts because we have a switch here called a destroy switch. And the destroy switch kind of is a boost. So what you're hearing is essentially me driving the amp harder. So the drive is coming from the amp, but it's because the guitar is going gone. So you can, I'm just going to literally <laughs> gradually bring it in. It's got this lovely notch as well. So you, you can, you know when it's off. So this is off. A little bit. I literally have done that whole demo playing like two chords, but it still it just makes the chords work, you know. Two chord lead. What's that like for lead then? Well, it's. I've got to try and get a lead kind of sound. So again, I'm not using any pedals. I don't think I'd buy this as a sort of a, a guitar I wanted to play lead solos on. I mean, it can obviously do a bit, but I think I'd buy this, you know, as a, an out and out rhythm guitar, you know, something that you can, it's just uh, the destroy switch. I, I just love, you know, it's like, that's, a, that's a great sound. Yeah, it is. You know? I think what, what Mike Campbell said to Duesenberg, he said, look, I just need a guitar that's going to sound amazing with a G, a D, and a C. <laughs> so they literally, they, they've acoustic... Not a B. No, I don't want a B no, or, or, an or an A no. or an F or anything like that. So I think they've acoustically designed this guitar just to be like... Okay, now, now try playing a B. I'll, I'll try playing a B, hang on a second. A. 
you're right, you're absolutely it just doesn't right. work, does it? No. Can't do it. So there you go. So um, look, I've enjoyed this very much. Should we swap guitars and just jam? All right, or do you want to jam? And no, let's no, swap, swap, swap guitars. Man. Swap amps and everything, we should swap amps. Yeah, just swap the, swap the whole thing. This is going to freak me out because now the sound coming out of there is going to be raw and it'll upset me. <laughs>